One of the best things about Studio One is the project page. You might call it a mastering page, but it's so much more than that. If you've done mixing and mastering in other platforms, you know it requires quite a bit of work to manage the files and revisions. Typically, you have separate sessions for each mix and another session for mastering. Or perhaps you use different software for mastering altogether. What happens when you want to make changes to a mix? Well, you've got to carefully follow the digital paper trail to make sure that you replace the old mix with the new one. Studio One does all that for you. Here's a five-song EP project I'm mixing and mastering. I need to make some tweaks to a few of these mixes. All I do is right-click and choose Edit Song. After tweaking three of these mixes, I save everything and take a break. When I come back, I open up the project file for this EP. Studio One immediately informs me that these three songs have changed since the last time I opened the project, and it gives me the option to update the mixes automatically. With a single click, Studio One proceeds to open each song, one at a time, and export the mix directly into the project page, replacing the previous mix. I can work confidently on this mastering session, knowing that I'm using the latest mixes. I use this feature all the time, even during the recording process to gather rough mixes of all the songs I'm working on in one place. I can slap a limiter on the master section and export all the mixes to share with the band in just a few clicks. When it comes to mastering, Studio One gives me plenty of tools and metering options to get the job done. I can measure the loudness of my songs both before and after my processing. I can put plugins on individual songs while also having plugins that apply across all songs. I can even use the splitter tool to create my own custom mid-side processing. This allows me to EQ the sides of my mix differently than the center. Once I'm finished mastering, I can add metadata and even album artwork to the project. This information gets embedded when I export the final masters into formats that support metadata and artwork, like MP3. I can also export in WAV, AIFF, AUG Vorbis, and more. I can even export a DDP file for CD replication. Want to publish directly to SoundCloud? No problem. All this is not only possible, but easy and fun when you use Studio One Professional.